Good morning, welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. Today we are working on the 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4.7 liter, 4x4, quadri track, yada yada, who gives a crap, moving on. What we have today is in a very obnoxious belt squeal. Um, we actually don't have it today, so I didn't film, I, I bought a new serpentine belt and I changed it out last night. I did not film it because my in-laws are in town and I just didn't film it. So I just flipped out the belt hoping that that was the cause of the squeak, kind of assuming it wasn't the full cause, um, which is why I wasn't worried about videoing because I could always catch up today if I needed more stuff, which I did. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this thing started squealing at startup uh, a while ago, and when it first got cold at the beginning of winter, it started squealing at startup, but it go away as it warmed up. Well, as winter has progressed, it stopped going away. Uh, the squeal, it just continues to squeal. Driving, not driving, doesn't matter. So I bought a new serpentine belt last night, and I threw it on and uh, eliminated, I'm going to say, 80% of the squeal. There's still a little bit. While the belt was off, I spun a couple pulleys. Everything's good except the tensioner. The tensioner is making some squawky noises. So, I bought a new tensioner. This is a Gates brand. I will link it down in the description below as always. As always, for those of you that want to help me out, click on the links below. The Amazon links help me dramatically. I get kicked back anytime you order something after clicking on the links. As well as I have a what is it, a Zell link um, for the bank account for Guy and his projects. I also have a PayPal link for the same thing. Those help me out, they keep these projects going, keeps, uh, keeps me filming, so click on those, help me out. Moving on. So this is the belt I removed yesterday. It was definitely stretched. You could tell the difference between this one and the new one. The new one was a little bit shorter. Um, when I say a little bit, I mean minuscule, but apparently that's enough. Um, but the thing in point is the tensioner on the old one. Both these pulleys make some gravelly noises when I spin them. So we're gonna replace the tensioner. Should be pretty easy, should be pretty quick. This is one of the easier Jeeps to work on when it comes to the front end. Uh, they actually give you a little bit of room. So as mentioned, this is garbage. That's the old one. All right, so we're gonna go in here and pop open the hood. And that's our system. Let me grab a light so you guys can see better. Whoa! And there is lights. This thing is amazing. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. I'll link it down below. You guys can click on the link, buy it, and help me out. All right, so down here, this is the belt and the belt path. Uh, my Jeep is has a little diagram right here. So if you're replacing the whole thing, then it's honestly really easy. It took me about, I don't know, probably 15 minutes last night. Um, but what we're after, this guy right here so this is the pulley the grooved one that's making all my noise and this is the tensioner it holds to like you saw already um, it's got one two pulleys on it and then the whole spring assembly right there uh, that's what we're changing so we're going to grab uh, I think this is a 15 mil we're gonna pull this pulley up pull the belt off leave the belt on everything else if we can if not big deal and then we're gonna take this bolt which I think is a 13 maybe and we'll just pull the whole assembly off and plug the new one on. All right, so I don't have three hands, so you guys are just gonna have to deal with me, bear with me. And if I put you there, you'll end up getting hit. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is just like a, I don't know, an 18 inch long ratchet with a 15 millimeter six point socket. I do not like using 12 point sockets when I'm working on tensioners because sometimes the spring tension is so strong that I've stripped out the uh, the bolt head. So I use six point sockets when I can. We're just gonna grab this pulley right here and we're gonna angle the ratchet towards the battery tray as much as we can because we're going to go uh, clockwise when you're looking at the engine from the bumper. So get that on and then we're just gonna turn this clockwise like we said. I'm gonna reach down here and just pull the belt off those two pulleys this back down okay that's not gonna work built some hanging up so we're gonna take the AC pull it off the AC pulley as well now we're just going to kind of move the belt out of the way I'm not overly worried about it falling off we can reroute it it's not a big deal on this it's actually pretty easy all right like I said I think this is a 13 mil let's find out all righty so it is indeed a 13 mil 
There's not a lot of room to get in there at the power steering lines, but oh, and she's solid in there. Oh boy. Oh boy, we might need some more leverage. Let me find some more leverage. For reference, you're just sitting on top of the oil crankcase fill port right now. All right, so 13's in, and we got leverage. Oh, wow, that was nice. Yeah, she was in there. Little tiny quarter turns, eighth turns at a time. Sometimes that's just what you gotta do. Okay, now I think I would like to replace this bolt, but the new tensioner didn't come with one, of course. Let's see, we're at a point we can do this with my fingers. Ugh. Come on, Mr. Bolt. Let go for me. There she goes. Okay, ratchet out. And this can come out. Why y'all? So that is a Mopar port number, which means this is most likely the original, which is not surprising to me, actually. 180,000 miles on this Jeep, for, just so in case you want to know. Let's see if I can get you guys some audio of this spinning here. Oh yeah. You guys hear that? That would do it. This one as well. Alright, so out with the old, in with the new. We're going to put this in the exact same way that this one came out. And uh, we'll be there. There is something to note. So there's this little divot right here. Ah, right here. Um, that's just so that you can't really put this in upside down. It has to go in this way, not that way kind of thing. If you know what I mean? And just make sure your divot's in the same spot. So we're good to go. All right, so I did just go ahead and lubed up this bolt with some anti-seas. Um, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera right here, but there's this bolt right here. That's what goes in this divot, so you know you can only put it in one way. If you're any bit confused, just remember the threaded, or not the threaded, the grooved pulley goes towards the battery. All right, so now I gotta get this down in here. Get the bolt in the hole. Get this to line up right there. Now we're lined up. Get a few threads in. Make sure we're not cross threading. And we're gonna grab our ratchet and just start putting her back on. Now once we start getting to the tighten thing, tighten the part, I'm gonna switch out to my six point socket. I do not like tightening things with 12 points. You just don't have as much girth or grip don't have as much contact. Nope, don't know the torque specs. I'm just gonna go till I think she's getting tight. Keeping in mind it's an aluminum block, so that's as tight as I'm going. I'm gonna put the belt back on. So I think I'm gonna go over the AC pulley last. So we're going to sneak this back in over here. I'm gonna wrap this around the tensioner, slide it on. Make sure you're still grooved around the harmonic balancer, crankshaft pulley, your power steering pump, and your and your uh, alternator. I'm gonna try and get all this extra slack set up and ready to go on. I'm going to grab tensioner wherever I can bite it at. Right here. I really wish you guys could see right now. Oh, I mean, you guys could have seen too. Okay, don't roll, pulleys. Okay, as long as that doesn't roll, you can see I got my thumb on this to go up over the AC. 
I'm just going to spin the tension. Oh yeah, that's way more tense. Oh. I want to try and get it over. Get a little bit more. Oh no. Not going to do it, so I'm going to let loose a little bit. And we're going to go over the alternator, because that's how I did it last night, so I know that one works. Let's put that over there. Put it over the water pump. This tensioner is way more tense. Okay, we're ready to go up. Ugh. Yep, that should work. There we go. Put your tensioner back down. So now we're just going to quality check ourselves. Uh, we're on the grooves on the tensioner. We look pretty even on the other half of the tensioner. We are in the grooves on the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley. Thumbs up, we're in the grooves on the power steering pump, on the grooves on the alternator, on the grooves on the AC. Everything looks good except for right here. Um, looks like we could slide the belt more over towards the front end. And this tensioner is brand new and really tight. So I'm going to release the tension just a little bit, just enough to pull this belt over. So release the tension and slide the belt over. There we go. All right, that looks much better. Now just double check, make sure you didn't pop a tooth anywhere because belts these days are very expensive for some reason. It's like 50 bucks to buy a belt anymore or more. Um, I think the Titan was 80 bucks. Anywho, let's put my tools away and we'll fire her up. All right. So, crank her on, see if we got squeals. And you're just gonna check, make sure you're still golden, which we are, no squeals, no, no weird noises. We're golden. So that's all there is to it. These Jeeps are actually pretty easy to change that stuff on. Uh, no sweat, that all took about 20 minutes probably. That's with the camera, trying to find you guys, trying to find tools. Not a big deal. Remember, click the links down below, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. If you got nothing to say, just leave a comment saying you got nothing to say. It helps the algorithm. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Adios.